Hello, I'm back for another video today just to show you a little demonstration of how I would go about completing the independent task. In the first part, in the do now, it's asking us to find half of each of the numbers below, okay? So I'm going to do two examples with you now, okay? Now, I've chosen to half 6 and to half 14. Now, I'm not very good at halving in my head, so I might go choose to use something that I've got lying around the house. Like I might choose to use some cubes or buttons or chocolate buttons or smarties or anything that you've got around the house. You might choose to count out that amount. So if I was halving six, I would count out six smarties and then I'd split them in half, okay? But I haven't got anything at my house that I could halve. So what I'm going to do instead some of you might have not have anything to halve either. So what I'm going to use instead is I'm just going to use something I've already got. I've got a pen and I've got my whiteboard. You might have a pencil and some paper, okay? So what I'm going to do is to halve six, I'm going to draw six dots on my page. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And simply, I'm going to half it just by drawing it into two groups actually. I'm going to put a group there and a group there because if I'm halving something I'm putting it into two groups okay so I'm going to put one dot in there cross it off. I'm going to put one dot in there and I'm going to cross it off and I'm going to put one dot in there cross it off one dot in here cross it off one dot in there cross it off and one dot in here and I'm going to cross it off. And they're all gone now, and I've shared them equally between two groups. So I have halved the number six. So half of six is one, two, three. Okay? So half of six is three. So six divided by one, two groups equals three. Okay, so half of six is three. Let's try it with the number 14. So this time I'm going to draw 14 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm going to draw my two groups. Doesn't matter if they're triangles, circles, whatever you want to draw them as. Okay, got my two groups, so let's start halving or sharing. One there, one for you, 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 one for you. One for you and one for you. Okay, so I, I have now halved 14. I've now split it into two equal groups. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven in there and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there is seven in there. So half of 14 is, you guessed it. Seven. So 14 divided by 2 equals 7, okay? Because there are 7 in each shared amount, okay? So half of 14 is equal to 7. You might want to use some of my methods to solve the next few problems. So I hope you get on okay with your do now. Please work through each of the question, uh, each of the different numbers to find half of each amount. Remember, you can draw dots like me, or you could count out an amount of Smarties, chocolate buttons, teddy bears, whatever you've got lying around at home. Okay, we're now going to go through the first question on your independent task, your main activity. So what, is ask, what it is asking us to do today is it is asking us to represent each of the pictures, uh, which we've already got on our page because we've got them represented as pictures, 
and it's asking us to share them equally into the set groups. Now, on your page, you will have your pictures, which I've got here. Don't laugh at my cakes. Not a very good drawer. So we've got one, two, three, four cakes there, as you can see. And then below it, we've got one group and two groups. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be sharing these four cakes between our two groups, okay? So the way that we're going to do this is we are going to be sharing them by putting one in each group at a time, okay? So let's have a go at doing that now. So I'm going to put one of my cakes in here. I'm going to draw it just like that. There's one. And I'm going to cross it off so I know that I have drawn that cake. And I'm going to draw this cake in here. Please don't laugh at my drawing, everybody. I can hear you. There we are. And I've got another one. There we go. I'm going to cross it off because I know that I've drawn that one. And our final cake, I'm going to share it over here and put it in this group. There we go. And let's cross that off. So four cakes divided by two groups is equal to, how many is in this group? One, two. And how many are in this group? One, two. So four divided by two is equal to two because four cakes shared by two people and each person would get two cakes each. So there are how many cakes in each group? Did you get it right? There are one, two, two cakes in each group. Excellent. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Well, not really for this one, actually. But if we were drawing this on a part whole model, let's represent it now. So the amount all together is the whole, and then the parts are the amount of groups that we have. Pause the video now and see if you can draw the part whole model without my help. Okay, so your part whole model looks like this. Remember I said earlier that the whole is the amount that we started with, so the, the amount all together. So if we were writing the whole, it would look like this. So the whole is four cakes, okay? So the whole is the four cakes that we had all together. The groups represent the parts, and in this example, We've got one group and two groups. So let's go ahead and draw the parts now. One group and two groups. The amount that goes inside those parts is the amount of cakes that we have shared, which is also equal to two. Amazing. So the whole is the number of cakes all together. The groups that we've shared equally into represent the parts. And inside the parts, or inside the groups, is where we will put our amounts that we have shared. Brilliant work, everybody. Okay, I've got one more example to share with you. Now, in this example, I've used just dots to represent it. On your worksheet, you may have pictures rather than dots, but that's okay because it still is the same. Okay, here, I'd like you to use your supertizing skills to tell me how many dots I've drawn. If I cover up this one, you'll notice that we've got how many dots? 10, brilliant. And if I uncover this one, five. 10 and 5 is equal to 15. 
We know that because we are super good at partitioning. We know that 110 and 5 ones is equal to 15. Okay, what we're going to do now then is it's a little bit different from the example before because before we had two groups to share into, but this time we've got one, two, three groups. And what we want to do is we want to share these dots equally between those three groups. So we want to do 15 divided by or shared by three. Okay, so we're looking what that is going to equal. Okay, so let's have a go at doing this together. So just like before, I'm going to cross off when I've drawn each dot. Okay, so we're going to put one in there for you, cross you off. I'm going to put one in there for you, cross you off. And I'm going to continue to do that until I've got none left. Okay, so I'm going to continue to go through. So I'm going to put one in there, cross you off. One in there, cross you off. I'm going to keep going until I've got all of my dots in the correct places. Okay, so let's just count and see if we've got the same in each group because remember, we were trying to share them equally between the groups. Let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five in there. We've got one, two, three, four, five in there. And we have one, two, three, four, five in there. So 15 shared by or divided by three is equal to five. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. Now, if I was representing this on a part whole model, let's think about what I would put where, what would be my whole, what would be my parts, and what would be inside my parts. Let's have a look. So if we were thinking about what we said earlier about our part whole model, what would go in our whole what would go in our hole, do you think? Excellent. I heard some of you say that it's the number that goes in the hole is the number or the amount that we're all together that we started with. So we started with 15, didn't we? We started with 15, so that is our hole. So 15 is our hole. And then our parts... We've got how many parts this time? We've got one, two, three. Because remember, I said earlier that the parts are the amount of groups that we share into. So it doesn't matter that there wasn't just two groups. In this example, we've got three groups. So our part whole model won't have two parts. It will have three. Watch. One, two, three. And that's okay. So we've got our three groups or our three parts and then in each one of the parts, did you guess it? We will have the number five. Because 15 shared by three equals five. Five add five add five is equal to 15. Five times three is also equal to 15. I hope you're starting to notice some of the patterns between multiplication and division. Okay, I think it's time for you to get ready and do the independent task all by yourselves. Now, I think we've done enough practice and I think that you will be able to get on with your independent task on your own now. As always, if you do need any more help, please make sure that you make use of the chat box on Microsoft Teams. And again, we look forward to receiving your work very, very shortly. Have fun, everybody, with your maths work today, and we'll see you soon. Bye.